The former head of Auckland City's downtown promotion agency who stole $2.5 million, $2.5 million for the organisation is being released from prison three and a half years early. Alex Sweeney was sentenced to five years and seven months in prison for fraud and tax evasion in June 2015, but the parole board has decided to release the former head of Heart of the City in two weeks' time. Our Auckland court reporter Edward Gay has been covering this story. Have you got the parole board's decision, Eddie? I have, I have. And so what are they saying? What, well, first of all, what has Alex Sweeney been doing inside prison? I guess that's material in the parole board's determination. That definitely came into it. The parole board made much of the fact that, uh, well, they described him as being uh, displaying excellent conduct in their words. He's been helping prisoners with yoga uh, and literacy programs. He's also got strong support from his family on the outside, uh, prospects of a job inside a family business. They also made mention that he has no previous record. He's a minimum security prisoner. Um, and he's in prison after filing these false invoices to Heart of the City uh, from companies in his control. Uh, and this was because, as he said, he, he didn't believe he was being paid enough money at the time. He did this over a 10-year period, and he invested a lot of that money in properties uh, which are tied up in family trusts. As well as the representative dishonesty charge, he's also admitted uh, charges of tax evasion relating to $1.76 million of unpaid tax. What was the total sum of money that was, we're talking roughly, Eddie? Well, it's the 2.5 plus the 1.76. My maths isn't no, crash no, yeah, hot. Yeah, but it's, it's four mil, yeah, isn't it's it? it's over four mil. Yeah, four okay. And he got five years and seven months. This is his first appearance before the parole board. That's right. And I know you don't like to editorialise in any way, shape or form, and so I'm not going to ask you to, but... Is it somewhat surprising you'd sprawl at first with no previous record and all of that kind of stuff? It's not... No. Ah, oh, it's a difficult one. Go, go well handled, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, he, Alex Winnie himself told the board he really wants to change his life. He, 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 yeah, that's exactly what he said. He said he wants to live a downgraded lifestyle, but he still wanted to provide for his family despite being adjudicated bankrupt. He's voluntarily spoken to a psychologist. He's had 12 sessions, and the psychologist believes he's gained some insight into his offending. Um, he's um, he's begun to understand why he's offended. Uh, he's, the parole board said basically the risk um, that he poses to the community can be managed inside the community. Um, they've imposed uh, some conditions, some special conditions. He has to see a counsellor. He's not allowed to give financial advice. He can't be employed or involved in a business or a trust without uh, permission from his parole board um, parole. Yeah, parole board officer. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, many people know him, of course. He had a fairly, uh, a reasonably high profile. He was media friendly, always available for an interview. He was, and he was always, uh, you could always spot him driving around town on his orange Vespa. Um, he, he spent two decades basically in the spotlight as the promoter for Auckland CBD. Uh, and he, there were a number of attempts um, that he made to break into local politics. Um, he um, he stood for the Waitemata um, board seat. He um, he he was um, also for the ACT Party as well. And um, yeah, he, he was he was the man around town. He often the go-to guy for stories on you know everything from footpaths to um, to local business stories as well. Edward Gay, who has been looking at this with his usual magnificently straight bat. Thanks so much, Eddie. Appreciate it. Lovely to see you as always.